Mother Anna Grace, Prioress General of the Dominican Sisters of St. Cecilia. Members of the General Council of the Dominican Sisters of St. Cecilia. Sister John Mary, Director of Education for St. Cecilia Congregation. Shauna Drummel, Superintendent of Catholic Schools in the Diocese of Nashville. Sister Dominic, President of Overbrook Catholic School and St. Cecilia Academy. Sisters, faculty, staff, parents, families, and friends of the graduates. The graduating class of 2024 welcomes you to the 163rd commencement of St. Cecilia Academy. <laughs> Last evening, we rejoiced in the gifts of each of our seniors and their unity as a class during the senior banquet. This morning, Bishop Mark Spaulding celebrated the traditional baccalaureate mass where we pray together as a community with and for our graduates before they go their separate ways. This evening, we acknowledge each member of the class of 2024 in the formal commencement <laughs> ceremony. Over the last four years, these young ladies have blessed the halls of St. Cecilia Academy with their presence, growing in knowledge and grace and now the moment of their graduation has arrived. As they prepare to enter the next chapter of their lives, we hope they will remember the people they have met at St. Cecilia and the lessons they have learned here. Certainly, we will not forget the class of 2024, strong, beautiful and bright, full of joy and grace. At this time, we invite our Teacher of the Year, Mrs. Pamela Woosley, to lead our opening prayer. Mrs. Woosley. today and all of its blessings. We thank you for each one of these girls and all they have done to bring joy and laughter to the St. Cecilia community over these past four years. They have left it a better place than when they came. I ask you today to send your spirit down upon each one of them. May they feel your deep peace, which surpasses all understanding, as they move forward to the places you have called them. Bring them joy, Lord. When they feel sadness, when they feel frustration, when they feel nothing, be their joy. Bring them patience, Lord, with themselves, with their roommates, with their friends. Be their peace. Bring them hope, Lord. When they feel stressed or overwhelmed, when they feel alone, be their hope. Bring them courage, Lord, to speak up, to seek truth, to know you. Be their courage. Jesus, you have entrusted 67 young women to us over the past four years. We entrust them back to you, knowing of your deep love for them. Please give them the confidence they need to hone their unique gifts and boldly share their passion for you in a world that is in desperate need. And may they always remember your call to go and be your hands and feet. Protect them and guide them. And may all they do be for your greater glory. We love you. Amen. Thank you, Mrs. Woosley. You may be seated. At this time, I am pleased to present to you the salutatorian of the class of 2024, Annika Slinger. Mother Anna Grace, Prioress General of the Dominican Sisters, Members of the General Council of the Dominican Sisters, Sister Dominic, President of St. Cecilia Academy and Overbrook Catholic School, Sister Anna Laura, Principal of St. Cecilia Academy, Sisters, faculty, family, friends, and graduates of the class of 2024, I want to welcome you to this year's graduation ceremony honoring the 67 beautiful and talented St. Cecilia girls of the senior class. It is a blessing to be surrounded by such motivated and courageous women every day. Reflecting on my time at SCA, 
I am amazed at how much everyone has changed since freshman year. As a whole, we have gained confidence. During freshman year Spirit Week, we were young and naive and only had one group compete in the lip sync contest, although we were supposed to have three. Now, this year we ruled Spirit Week. We won the lip sync contest, we won the powder puff football game, and we had so much fun along the way. This speaks to the energy and competitiveness of our class, as well as our ability to trust in each other. We always push each other to be the best St. Cecilia girls we can be. I have been on this campus for 14 years. Some people say that I'm crazy for being in the same place for so long. That's why I'm going to college in Illinois. <laughs> but in reality, I've never left the Dominican campus because I do not think I'll ever experience the same love and support that I feel here anywhere else. My classmates mean the world to me. My teachers have taught me more than I could ever imagine. Mr. Thornton taught me tips to succeed in college. Sister Nicholas Marie taught me that nothing will stick in my brain unless I master it. Mr. Simpson taught me how to jumpstart a car. <laughs> Senora Getz taught me always to hug those you care about. And Mr. Martinez taught me never to stop asking questions. During my time on this campus, I have always been told to look to the future. At Overbrook, I was told its goal was to prepare me for high school. And at SCA, I was told my classes are to prepare me for college. Although there is truth in that, everything I learn is instrumental to my success. I've learned that high school is so much more than just the next step in preparing you for your future. It shapes your character. It teaches you hard work. And it shows you how to believe in yourself. High school creates memories that will last a lifetime. It brings best friends together. So to me, high school is not just to get you ready for college. It is about growing up, embracing change, and living in the moment. As my favorite singer, Noah Kahn, says, who the heck likes living just to die? I encourage everyone here to think about their life and what their purpose is, because we need something to live for. Maybe you already know what your purpose is, or maybe you haven't found it yet but I challenge you to locate it and run with it. Don't let anyone else hold you back from fulfilling your purpose. Life shouldn't feel dull or like you are just going through the motions. You need to find your spark. And I know everyone here has something that drives them and fulfills them. Seniors, during our four years being the coolest Egyptian Beatles I know, the Scarabs, SCA has instilled in us how to be strong, independent women but not the type of strong, independent women who only prioritize their grades or only care about winning that sports game or only care about how many service hours they will get for going to Relay for Life. Rather, SCA teaches us to have resilience and tenacity while also maintaining loving and genuine friendships that we will keep forever. Class of 2024, Taylor Swift says that love's never lost when perspective is earned. And I believe that we will never lose our love for our fellow classmates because we are held together by the growth and the hardships we have overcome along the way. You don't gain perspective from living a life free of adversity. We lived through the COVID era together. When the volleyball team got COVID and shut down the school for two weeks, when Mr. All Britain yelled at us for trying to sneak the wrong way through one-way hallways, when we ate lunch on the gym floor on tape marks five feet apart. In the moment, we resented the COVID guidelines. But now we look back and reflect on what we have learned from those minor inconveniences we faced to ensure the health and safety of our SCA community. We gained perspective. We grew in patience. And we learned to find humor amidst the difficulties. So, as we part our way in a couple months, we will step foot outside the familiarity of St. Cecilia Academy. We will say goodbye to uniforms. We will not get to hear Coach Jemison see how long he can yell go scarabs anymore. <laughs> and we won't experience the instant joy from giving Mr. Horn a high five. However, seniors, I urge you to hold on to everything you have learned and know that you will always have a friend to call. We are a family, so you will not always have someone rooting for your success, but you will always have a shoulder to cry on. I'm going to leave you here today with one goal, pursue your biggest aspirations. But remember, 
that it is not worth it if it doesn't make you happy. Because if you have success, but you are not happy, then you are not doing it right. In the wise words of Master Uwe in Kung Fu Panda, you are the master of your destiny. No one and nothing can come in between you and your destiny except you. Take destiny by the horns and have fun. Class of 2024, go set the world on fire. Thank you, Annika. The greatest honor bestowed on a student of St. Cecilia is that of St. Cecilia Girl. Chosen by the members of the junior and senior classes, this honor is given to the senior who best exemplifies the mission and values of St. Cecilia Academy. This year, St. Cecilia Girl is dedicated to excellence in academics and involvement in school activities. She is especially known for her love of her school, her charity to her peers, and her example of a virtuous and faith-filled life. At this time, it is my pleasure to invite Kate Miller, St. Cecilia Girl of the class of 2024 to the podium. Mother Anna Grace, Prioress General of the Dominican Sisters, members of the General Council of the Dominican Sisters, Sister Dominic, President of St. Cecilia Academy and Overbrook Catholic School, Sister Anna Laura, Principal of St. Cecilia Academy, sisters, faculty, family, friends, and graduates of the class of 2024. Congratulations and welcome. I would like to begin by thanking my classmates for choosing me as their St. Cecilia girl. It is such a great honor that I didn't think it was possible that you could have chosen me. When I first heard people saying that they would vote for me, I thought they were joking. Out of all the amazing, kind, compassionate, caring, thoughtful girls in my class, why would they pick me? Freshman year, Kate would have laughed at that. In fact, as my first year teachers can tell you, freshman year, Kate hardly spoke at all. Through elementary school, I rarely talked to anyone outside of my family. I had a terrible lisp, and my sister Gussie did most of my speaking for me in fourth grade, simply because no one could understand what I was saying. With a lot of speech therapy sessions, patient teachers and loving friends, I managed to learn to speak clearly enough that others can understand me. But I was still very shy. So it was here at St. Cecilia that I really found my voice. It was here that I gained enough confidence in myself to speak out and speak up, surrounded by supportive classmates and taught by smart, accomplished, and godly role models. I quickly learned that I could do almost anything I set my mind to, that I could be almost anything I wanted to be. And so, I learned to speak for myself. I think back to my time at SCA, and there are so many joyful memories that come to my mind. I remember the first time I rolled my monogrammed wheelie backpack through those gates on the first day of school freshman year, expecting to meet my new classmates, only to be greeted by a thermometer to my forehead. Hunched over the sensor, I nervously waited every day for the beep that would tell me my fate. I could go to class, or I would become a social pariah, stricken with COVID and banished to Zoom prison for two weeks. I remember Madeline Lederman, always friendly, as the first person to talk to me as soon as I walked in, and someone else taking our picture as we awkwardly stood there in silence. I remember the first time I talked to my soon-to-be best friend Amelia in the theater during VAP, hiding from Mrs. Stamps as we stifled our laughter about something stupid. I will never forget the sounds of a rosary jangling down the 300th hallway, the cowbell on the loudspeaker, or even the sound of a furious Overbrook mom honking at an unsuspecting student. I will always remember Mr. Albert and telling us, ladies, wrong way, in the hallway, and Sister Albertine singing to us about how perfection is overrated, which I most definitely keep in my mind always. However, I think Sister Albertine may have been a little wrong because my teachers and my classmates, my 66 sisters that sit in front of me, have made this place feel exactly perfect, perfect and special. 
Walking through the halls of St. Cecilia and seeing the pictures of the alumni, I realize what a special place this is. There have been so many young women, like me, who have also, ha who have also learned to speak for themselves at St. Cecilia and who have gone on to accomplish such great things. This school has produced doctors, lawyers, professors, mothers, thinkers, and doers. And in the crowd in front of me, in this class, I see future doctors, lawyers, professors, mothers, thinkers, and doers. We have learned to speak for ourselves. We have been given the confidence and the skills to go out in the world and to make our mark. What happens at St. Cecilia has always been unique. Not just because we have a cat named Isidore who lives in the courtyard, or that our seniors wear yellow sweaters and bowling shoes, <laughs> but unique because it is a place where you can learn to see God in other people, where you come to understand that learning to speak for yourself means also learning to speak for other people in prayer and in life. Here, you are not educated to be selfish. Your future career, as important as it is, is not the ultimate goal of your St. Cecilia edu education. Rather, it is service to others and duty to God that matters most of all. The Dominican sisters and the lay people who minister to us as teachers model this behavior every day in ways both great and small. They have shown us how to live lives of true meaning, how to begin to rediscover in ourselves and in others the image of God. This is what it means to learn to speak for yourself. And this is what I have learned at St. Cecilia. I'm so grateful that my parents sent me to a school where I didn't dread waking up in the morning. St. Cecilia has made me the person I am today, and I wouldn't change it for the world. Class of 2024, though our journey has been long and strange, your impact on our school and on each of our classmates is immeasurable. I love all of you. Thank you for the past four years, and I look forward to seeing what you accomplish in your future. Thank you, Kate. St. Cecilia, a second century Roman martyr, is also the patron saint of music. Her biographers recount how she sang to God in her heart with the words, let my heart be pure that I may not be put to shame. Because of our illustrious patron, St. Cecilia Academy has always been dedicated to music and the fine arts. At this time, we present the graduating members of the SCA Choir and Chamber Ensemble who will perform a song to honor their class.
Thank you, ladies. At this time, I invite Mother Anna Grace, Sister Dominic, and Sister Elise to assist with the conferral of diplomas. As each graduate receives her diploma, we will share a brief summary of her accomplishments. So that we can honor each of our seniors equally, we ask that you hold your applause until after all the graduates have received their diplomas. By the power vested in me by the state of Tennessee and the Dominican Sisters of St. Cecilia, and upon the recommendation of the faculty of St. Cecilia Academy, I am proud to confer upon the members of the class of 2024 their high school diplomas. Elizabeth Winston Adler served as vice president of Theater Guild. She's a three-year recipient of the Dominican Cross Service Award and member of the service club. To her parents, she says, Dear Mom and Dad, thank you for all your love and support. I love you so much. Elizabeth will attend Georgetown University to major in government and philosophy and minor in math. Samantha Lee Anglin is a member of the Ambassador Board. She has served as the Vice President of the Art Club and Treasurer of Minds in Motion. To her family, she says, Dear Mom and Dad and Elizabeth, thank you for everything. Sam will attend the University of Tennessee Chattanooga, where she will major in creative writing and minor in education. Ellery Louise Blackburn is a four-year member of the lacrosse team, a three-year member of the Ambassador Board, and a two-time recipient of the Dominican Cross Service Award. To her parents, she says, Dear Mom and Dad, thank you for all the opportunities you have given me. Love you guys. Mm -hmm. Ellery will attend the University of Tennessee Knoxville to study business. Haley Nicole Boyd, Captain of Varsity mm -hmm. Lacrosse, received the Dominican Cross Award and is a member of the NHS and National Spanish Honor Society. She says, Dear Mom and Dad, thank you for all the support throughout the years. I genuinely could not have done it without y'all. I love you. Haley will attend the University of Tennessee Knoxville to study business and marketing. Adeline Claudia Brew has played both junior varsity tennis and club tennis. To her parents, she says, Dear Mom and Dad, thank you for sending me to my safe space. This fall, Addie will attend Loyola Marymount University to study studio art. Carly Ray Cavanaugh served as build lead for the robotics team. She's a four-year member and officer of Model UN and Youth in Government and a varsity bowler. To her parents, she says, Dear Mom and Dad, thank you for your constant support and love. I'm so grateful for you. Carly will attend the University of Wisconsin-Madison to study mechanical engineering. Allison Rose Cliffle is a four-year member of the bowling team and served as team captain her junior and senior years. To her parents, she says, Dear Mom and Dad, thank you for supporting and loving me all these years. I love you so much. In the fall, Allison will attend Xavier University to major in chemistry and minor in forensic science. Mary Greer Coleman is a four-year varsity volleyball player, a four-year member of the service club and recipient of the Dominican Cross Award. Mm -hmm. To her parents, she says, Dear Mom and Dad, thank you so much for always being supportive and patient with me. I love you so much. Greer will attend the University of Tennessee Knoxville to major in biology and minor in environmental science. Sarah McQueen Cody has served as president of Minds in Motion as treasurer of Best Buddies and as St. Cecilia Academy ambassador. To her parents, she says, Dear Mom and Dad, thank you for this education and support throughout the years. I love you. In the fall, Sarah will attend Arizona State University to major in neuroscience and minor in business. Emily Claire Cox is a member of the Ambassador Board, in which she served as event planner and four-year member of the basketball and softball teams. To her parents, she says, Dear Mom and Dad, thank you for everything. I love you both so much. In the fall, Emily will attend the University of Tennessee Martin to study civil engineering. Chloe DeLong Crossland served as president of student council and of the Spanish club. She captained the cross country and track teams. To her parents, she says, Dear Mom and Dad, thank you for your constant love and support throughout all my high school journey. I love you both. Chloe will attend the University of Notre Dame and major in electrical engineering. Catherine Carol Crosslin is a member of the National Honor Society. She served as the vice president of the Baking Club and as a member of the Ambassador Board. To her parents, she says, Dear Mom and Dad, thank you for supporting me and encouraging me to be the best version of myself. In the fall, Catherine will attend Xavier University and study nursing. Virginia May Sobel Crouch served as president of the service club and as class treasurer and is a member of Season Stains Company. To her parents, she says, Dear Mom and Dad, thank you for shaping me into the person I am today. I love you. Virginia will attend Swanee, the University of the South, to major in English and Anthropology and minor in Spanish. 
Olivia Sky Curley is a three-year varsity lacrosse player and member of the NBA football cheerleading team. She has served as the treasurer of the pep club. To her parents, she says, Dear Mom and Dad, thank you for everything you've done for me. I love you. In the fall, Olivia will attend Texas Christian University to major in communications. Scotia Lauren Curley played on the varsity lacrosse team for three years and soccer team for two years, earning the TSSAA Athletic Academy Achievement Award. To her parents, she says, Dear Mom and Dad, thank you for your constant love and support and everything you have done for me. I love you so much. Scotia will attend San Diego State University to study communications. Simone Parfen de la Merced is a member of the National Honor Society, which she served as treasurer, the National French Honor Society and the Service Club, which she has served as both secretary and treasurer. To her parents, she says, Dear Mom and Dad, thank you for all you have done for me. I love you. Simone will attend Belmont University to major in nursing. Jennifer Maria Dryden was head attorney for Mock Trial. She's a three-year varsity soccer player and editor-in-chief of the St. Sicilian. She says, Dear Mom and Dad, thank you for being the best parents I could ever ask for and never giving up on me. I love you more than you know. Jennifer will attend the University of Tennessee, Knoxville to study journalism and marketing. Ava Garbush de Priest received the Dominican Cross Service Award and is member of the Service Club NHA, NHS, National French Honor Society, and Mu Alpha Theta. She says, Dear and Mom and Dad, thank you for your unconditional love and being my biggest fans and always encouraging me to pursue my dreams. Ava will attend Indiana University to study management. Zoe Michelle Edmondson is a Holland's Book Award winner, three-year member of the Theater Guild, and three-year member of the bowling team. To her parents, she says, Dear Mom and Dad, thank you for loving me. In the fall, Zoe will attend Hampton University to study English. Madeline Pearl Elizabeth Foster served as Secretary of Minds in Motion. She's a member of the National Honor Society and danced with Centennial Youth Ballet for 15 years. To her parents, she says, Dear Mom and Dad, thank you for supporting me the past four years. I love you both so much. Madeline will attend Emory University to major in chemistry and dance. Lily Webster Freiling served as vice president for the Versal Alto Adventure Club. She's a member of the National Art Honor Society and danced with the Nashville Ballet Academy for 14 years. To her parents, she says, Dear Mom and Dad, thank you for making me the person I am now. Tanto, tanto, tanto. Lily will attend Connecticut College to study biochemistry and dance. Nori Sky Fuller is a two-year member of the NBA cheerleading teams for both basketball and football. She's a recipient of the Torch Awards. To her parents, she says, Dear Mom and Dad, thank you for all the sacrifices you have made for me. In the fall, Nori will attend the University of Tennessee, Knoxville to study kinesiology. Gabriela Giselle Gonzalez served as editor-in-chief of the St. Sicilian. She captained the varsity soccer team and served as secretary of the service club. To her parents, she says, Dear Mom and Dad, thank you so much for all your support and sacrifice. I love you. In the fall, Gabby will attend Western Kentucky University to study exercise science. Mary Estella Graziano is a two-time recipient of the Dominican Cross Service Award. She's played varsity volleyball for two years and is a recipient of the Cookley Scholarship. To her parents, she says, Dear Mom and Dad, you guys are my heroes. I can't thank you enough for everything you've done for me. I love you. Stella will attend the University of Tennessee to study pre-law. Abigail Rose Herndon served as class vice president her freshman year. She's a four-year volleyball player and was head set designer for Theater Guild's production of Annie. To her parents, she says, Dear Mom and Dad, thank you for being my best friends through thick and thin. Abby will attend the University of Colorado Boulder to study elementary education. Ansley Claire Howard is a member of the National Honor Society. She served as student ambassador for three years and has played on the soccer team for two years. To her parents, she says, Dear Mom and Dad, thank you for showing me how to be strong and independent. Love you guys. Ansley will begin her career as the assistant manager for Compass Human Performance. Ava Grace Jemison served on the Black History Month committee. She has also managed the varsity volleyball team for two years and was a headset designer in the Theater Guild production of Annie. To her parents, Ava says, Dear Mom and Dad, thank you for sending me to my dream school. Ava will attend the University of Tennessee Chattanooga to study entrepreneurship. Olivia Laura Jones served as class secretary for two years and as secretary of the Season Stance Company for two years. She's a member of the National Honor Society. She says, Dear Mom and Dad, thank you for always being there when I need you and supporting me no matter what. I love you. Olivia will attend Wake Forest University to study psychology and bioethics. 
Mallory Aaron Kaczynski has served as Vice President of Student Council and is a member of the National Honor Society and the Ambassador Board. To her parents, Mallory says, Dear Mom and Dad, thank you for all your love and support. Mallory will attend the University of Tennessee Knoxville to study neuroscience. Lillian Faye Kramer founded the Chess Club. She's a four-year member of the golf team, which she served as a captain and is president of the French Club. To her parents, she says, Dear Mom and Dad, thank you for sending me to SCA and being loving parents. In the fall, Lily Faye will attend Hillsdale College to major in art history and minor in French. Madeline Rebecca Walker Lederman served as class president twice, co-founded the annual SCA Holocaust Remembrance Day, and was vice president of the Culture of Belonging Club. She says, Dear Mom, thank you for being my best friend and being the best example of what it means to be a strong woman. Madeline will study media arts at the University of Kentucky. Mia Rosemary Lennon is a four-year member of the robotics team and served as head of integration, a four-year member of the art club, serving as president, and a four-year member of Mu Alpha Theta, serving as vice president. She says, Dear Mama and Papa, thank you for always being there for me. Mia will attend Auburn University to study engineering and marine biology. Bailey McKenna Lynch is a member of the National Honor Society, a recipient of the Dominican Cross Award, and a varsity soccer player. To her parents, she says, Dear Mom and Dad, thank you for all the sacrifices you have made in order to send me to SCA. I love you. Bailey will attend Western Kentucky University to study exercise science. Anna Elena Manning sang in advanced choir and was named Best Chamber Instrumentalist. She presented her scientific research at the Michigan and Florida Invasive Species Conference. She says, Dear Mom and Dad, thank you for always pushing me to be my best and teaching me to put my hope in God above all else. Anna will study biology and music at Lipscomb University. Catherine Jane McMillan yeah. is a four-year member of the varsity lacrosse team and a student ambassador, a four-year member of the service club, and shared the Relay for Life this year. To her parents, she says, Dear Mom and Dad, thank you for all the support you've given me these past four years. I love you all. Catherine will attend the University of Tennessee Knoxville to study speech pathology. Abigail Grace Miller has been the MBA sports photographer for two years and is president of the Sisters and Philanthropy Club. To her parents, she says, Dear Mom and Dad, thank you for always being my biggest cheerleaders. In the fall, Abby will attend the University of Mississippi to major in marketing and sports management and to serve as the media intern for athletics. Catherine Nell Miller is a four-year member of the varsity rowing team. She has served as treasurer of the Latin club and the art club to her parents. She says, thank you for sending me to SCA. I love you. In the fall, Kate will attend Columbia University. Grayson Elizabeth Mondelli played varsity volleyball and varsity basketball for four years. She received the Megan Whaley Athlete of the Year Award her junior year. To her parents, she says, Dear Mom and Dad, thank you for always being there and supporting me. I love y'all. Grayson will attend the University of Tennessee Knoxville to study kinesiology. Simone Astrid Morgan served as the treasurer of the speech and debate team and as a parliamentarian of the speech and debate team. To her family, she says, thank you, thanks for making it through with me. After a gap year, Simone plans to major in museum studies and minor in anthropology. Madison Lee Murphy is a member of the National Honor Society, a four-year varsity volleyball player, and a member of the National Spanish Honor Society. To her family, she says, Dear Mom, Dad, and Mike, thank you so much for supporting me and all the sacrifices you made. Love you all so much. In the fall, Madison will attend Western Kentucky University. Margaret Patricia Neeson served as class president for two years. She was the head sound designer and technician for Theater Guild for three years and the vice president of the service club. She says, Dear Mom and Dad, thank you so much for always believing in me. I love you so much. You inspire me every day. Maggie will attend Boston College to study human-centered engineering. Mary Catherine Bishop O'Rear has served as the Vice President of Minds in Motion, Secretary of the Art Club, and a member of the Ambassador Board. To her family, she says, Dear Mom, Dad, Kevin, and Julie, thank you for all the love and support. I love you all. Mary Catherine will attend Agnes Scott College to study psychology. Olivia Elizabeth Ochoa played lacrosse for two years and was class parliamentarian for three. She's a three-year member of the Ambassador Board and served as president. She says, Dear Mom and Dad, thank you for all the sacrifices you have made for me. Olivia will attend the University of Kentucky to major in community and leadership development. Sydney June O'Connell is a two-year member of the Varsity Lacrosse Team, Service Club, and the Pep Club. To her parents, she says, Dear Mom and Dad, thank you for all you have provided for me. In the fall, Sydney will attend the University of Tennessee Knoxville to major in marketing. 
Brazier Elizabeth Pierce received the Spotlight Award for Best Supporting Actress. She was president of forensics and has sung with the American Choral Director Association for four years. She says, Dear Mom and Dad, thank you for always supporting me and daring me to dream. Brazier will attend the University of California, Los Angeles to study marine biology and music. Edie Marie Powell is a four-year member of the varsity volleyball team and has served in officer positions for her class and for pep club. To her parents, she says, Dear Mom and Dad, thank you for the constant support and raising me to be independent. Edie will attend Winthrop University to major in exercise science. Lauren Noel Rafoff is a four-year member of the Theater Guild and was president for two years. She received the Dominican Cross Service Award and is a member of the National French Honor Society. She says, Dear Mom and Dad, thank you for always being there for me. I love you. Lauren will attend the Catholic University of America to major in musical theater and minor in dance. Astrid Ramirez Chattel is a three-year member of the Ambassador Board, a four-year dancer with the Seasons Dance Company, and a four-year member of the Service Club. To her parents, she says, Dear Mom and Dad, thank you for always working so hard to give me many great opportunities. Love you. In the fall, Astrid will attend Western Kentucky University to major in finance. Dana Catherine Rico is a three-year member of the swim team and a four-year member of the service club in Mary's Meals. To her mother, she says, Dear Mommy, thank you for this blessing. I love you. In the fall, Dana will attend Lipscomb University to study business marketing with a minor in translation studies. Anna Burns Roth is a four-year tennis player and has served on both the junior varsity and the varsity teams. To her parents, she says, Dear Mom and Dad, thank you for sending me to the best school in the world. Anna Burns will attend the University of Tennessee at Chattanooga. Fiorella Sofia Sergio has served as president and parliamentarian of the Seasons Dance Company and as parliamentarian of the Spanish Club. She danced with the National Ballet Academy for seven years. She says, Dear Mom and Daddy, thank you for sending, standing with me always. I love you so much. Fiorella will attend Purdue University to major in kinesiology and minor in Spanish and nutrition. Rosalind Amalette Serrano is a three-year member of the soccer team, a four-year member of the choir, and a Torch Award recipient. To her parents, she says, Dear Mom and Dad, thank you for always pushing me to be the best version of myself. In the fall, Rosalind will attend Western Kentucky University to major in social work and minor in psychology. Lucy Ann Shea is a four-year member of the National Art Honor Society. She has served as a parliamentarian of Minds in Motion and played on the volleyball team for two years. To her parents, Lucy says, Dear Mom and Dad, thank you for your endless love and sacrifices for me. Lucy will attend the University of Tennessee at Chattanooga. Annika Claire Slinger served as Vice President of the National Honor Society and is a member of the Ambassador Board and Secretary of the Baking Club. She says, Dear Mom and Dad, thank you for always supporting me in my endeavors and being there for, for me when I needed you. Annika will attend the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign to study bioengineering. Rachel Olivia Smith is a three-year member of the NBA cheerleading team. She has held officer positions with Seasons Dance Company and won first place in dance in Scare Factor. She says, Dear Mom and Dad, thank you for helping me to pursue my dance goals and passions. Rachel will attend Middle Tennessee State University to major in exercise science and minor in dance. Sophia Lynn Stankowitz is the founding president of the Baking Club. She is a three-year member of the Ambassador Board, serving as vice president and a four-year tennis player. She says, Dear Mom and Dad, thank you for your constant love and support. I am so grateful for you. Sophie will attend the University, university of Tennessee, Knoxville, to major in elementary education and minor in nutrition. Hallie Jean Tabor is a four-year member of the NBA cheerleading team and a four-year honor roll student. To her parents, she says, Dear Mom and Dad, thank you for sending me to St. Cecilia and always supporting me. I love y'all. In the fall, Hallie will attend the University of Mississippi to major in communication disorders. Amelia Louise Tarquinio is a four-year varsity rower and team captain. She's a member of the National Honor Society and a four-year member of the Latin Club. She says, Dear Mom and Abby, thank you for encouraging me to be the best and always being there for me. I love you. Amelia will attend Brown University to major in chemistry and minor in economics. Anne Marie Terry is a four-year swimmer and captain of the swim team. She has served as the vice president of the chess club and participated in MBA's riflery program for two years. She says, Dear Mom and Dad, thank you for always pushing me to do my best. I love y'all so much. Anne Marie will attend Auburn University to major in mechanical engineering and minor in French. Arsh Sana Thanawala has served as president of Mu Alpha Theta uh, and she's a three-year member of the Lady Bot. She served as head of management for one year. She's a three-year recipient of the Dominican Cross Service Award. She says, Dear Mom and Dad, thank you for always bringing the best out of me. In the fall, Arsh will attend Northeastern University. 
Gabrielle Grace Tiburcio will attend attended the Governor's School for Arts and is a member of the NHS, the Classical Honor Society Mu Alpha Theta and Latin Club. She says, Mom and Dad, thank you so much for the sacrifices you have made for the sake of my education. I'm forever grateful for your support. I love you and appreciate you. Gabrielle will study pre-med at Vanderbilt University. Paige Elizabeth Trebeg has served as the Minds in Motion co-events chair and is winner of the Middle Tennessee Region Art Award. To her parents, she says, Dear Mom and Dad, thank you for giving me an education. In the fall, Paige will attend California College for the Arts. Katherine Anderson Tyrone is a four-year varsity volleyball player, two-year pep club officer, and a student ambassador. She says, Dear Mom and Dad, thank you for the endless support throughout my life. Nothing will ever show my appreciation. I love you both. Anderson will attend the University of Mississippi to study journalism, marketing, and sports management. Haley Wandham is a four-year member of the Culture Belonging Club, serving as president her senior year, programming lead on the, for the robotics team, and an officer for Model UN and Youth in Government. She says, Dear Mom and Dad, I am endlessly grateful for every opportunity that you have given me. Thank you. Haley will attend Yale University to study neuroscience and music. Catherine Marie Woodard served as president of National Honor Society. She was the assistant director for Little Women and has served as parliamentarian for the Theater Guild. She says, Dear Mom and Dad, thank you for being my best friends and leading me to Christ. Katie will attend Belmont University to major in business. Consuelo Isabella Wooden is a member of the Ambassador Board and has been a member of the Service Club and Mary's Meals for four years. To her parents, she says, Dear Mom and Dad, thank you for being my biggest supporters. I love you guys. In the fall, Issa will attend Western Kentucky University to major in psychology and minor in business. Mary Pearson Woods is a four-year varsity soccer player and a four-year varsity swimmer, captaining both teams her senior year. She has been a member of the student council for three years. To her parents, she says, Dear Mom and Dad, thank you for supporting me. I love you. In the fall, Mary Pearson will attend the University of Mississippi to major in interior design and minor in business. who have been on the Dominican campus for over 10 years. Graduates, please stand when your name is called so that we may recognize you. Sarah Cody, Catherine McMillan, Abigail Herndon, Greer Coleman, Annika Slinger, and Brazier Pierce entered Overbrook Catholic School in pre-K and have been educated on this campus for 14 years. Chloe Crossland was not far behind. She entered Overbrook in kindergarten and has been educated on this campus for 13 years. So ladies, we are so grateful for you and your presence here. It won't be the same without you. As a college preparatory school, one of the main goals of St. Cecilia is to prepare our students to enter their next step, college. We already know that our girls are graced with many gifts of intellect and personality that they have discovered and deepened during their high school experience. We are also proud of the fact that their gifts have been recognized by colleges to which they have applied. This year, the members of the class of 2024 have been offered academic and merit scholarships totaling over $10.8 million. <laughs> A lot of work, a lot of applications. 
next year, the class of 2024 will attend 39 colleges in 21 states and the District of Columbia. An amazing accomplishment, ladies, and we're so proud of you. It is now my pleasure to present to you the valedictorian of the class of 2024, Elizabeth Adler. Hi everyone. We never thought this day would come. Whether we were up until 3 a.m. finishing 33 LOQs before our big A-push test, sitting in Harding traffic at 7.54 in the morning, or embarrassing ourselves on stage in arts parts, we dreamed of this day, hoped that it would come quickly. Now, standing here with you all today, I could not be sadder to leave this place and these people that have shaped the past four years of my life. When I think of the St. Cecilia Academy class of 2024, I don't think of late nights doing homework or early mornings sitting in traffic. I think of the times we spent at lunch cramming 20 people at a small table, the time we won our senior year power puff game, the time we hunted each other with water guns, the time we sat in a circle singing landslide at our senior sunset, and the countless other dear memories I have with the brilliant young women you see before you today. When I think of St. Cecilia Academy, I think of how much I've learned. Not only lessons in calculus, biology, and religion, but also deeper lessons about what it means to be human and how to navigate the great world we are about to enter. Freshman year was certainly a unique experience. Coming to a new school as a freshman during a global pandemic is not for the weak. It was a huge change that left us with many questions, such as, what do the bottom halves of my new friends' faces look like? Or, do I have to perform the Anne Frank monologue in front of my whole class? And, will Mr. Albert notice if I go the wrong way down the one-way hallway? Yes, he will. When we came to St. Cecilia, the world seemed confusing, dark, and hopeless. Freshman year, we learned how to be the light in the darkness. Adversity faced us at every turn. Social distancing, COVID outbreaks, basilica groups, but we persevered. We learned how to be a source of light, forming connections fearlessly and joyfully. Sophomore year was a year of great growth. We took on leadership positions, learned how to drive, and finally did not place dead last in Spirit Week. We made new friends, walked about a mile from the gravel parking lot to the front of the school, and threw a pretty awesome country combo. We said goodbye to one-way hallways, masks, and dots on the gym floor. Sophomore year can often be overlooked, but I see it as an important place of growth and change. Embracing all the change we faced, we became more confident in our place, not only in the school, but in the world as well. Our teachers may have taught us about the Proto-Evangelium, the Scarlet Letter, and cations, meow. <laughs> but they also taught us that we are living testaments to the goodness of God in the world. Thanks to their love and support, we grew in wisdom, love, and virtue, and every day brought us closer to God and to each other. Junior year was definitely a tough year. We began taking AP classes, SATs, and ACTs. We started to think seriously about colleges and our next steps after SCA. Everything felt big and stressful. In the midst of this wild year, we learned that everything will be as it is intended to be. Every failed test, every point lost in Spear Week, every friendship frustration, every moment of shortcoming or adversity, all of these have shaped us for the best. These moments of pain have prepared our hearts for the great joy we experience today and will experience in the future. We wouldn't be the people we are today without the hard moments in our lives. Then, finally, it was senior year. Our days were full of saddle oxfords, yellow sweaters, and little kids' backpacks. Suddenly, everything was a last. Last spirit week, last rehearsal or practice, last test, last day of school, and finally, today. Our last day of being classmates with the friends we've seen nearly every day for the past four years. There's a lyric from the song Rivers and Roads that has hit me so hard over the past few weeks. A year from now, we'll all be gone. All our friends will move away. And they're going to better places, but our friends will be gone away. Although we are off to bigger, better things, it hurts to think that we will have to leave the people we love, the friends we've grown close to, the families to whom we owe so much. But these people will never be truly gone. Love changes us for the better. As we stood with our arms around each other, singing Rivers and Roads on our final day of school, through the tears and the smiles, I could see how much this school and these people have meant to us and how much they've changed us. Whether we are right down the road or in places as far away as California, Michigan, or Massachusetts, St. Cecilia will always be our home. 
the 66 girls that we shared four monumental years with will always be our sisters. Leaving the place and the people we called home for so long will be difficult. But as long as we carry the love we felt, the lessons we learned, and the memories we made with us, this place will never be far away. The past four years at SCA have been filled with so much joy, so much heartbreak, so much love, and so much change. We've learned how to be the light in the world, how to embrace growth, how to rejoice in hardship, and how to experience the full joy of finding a true home in the people we love. I am grateful for each second spent here with my best friends in the whole world. Thank you all so much, and to quote the alma mater, remember St. Cecilia, you'll be in our hearts always. Thank you, Elizabeth. Now we want to acknowledge the parents and families of the graduates. St. Cecilia continues to make a difference in the lives of so many young women, largely because of the strong support and partnership we share with you. Thank you for your untold sacrifices you have made so that your daughters may receive an education that prepares them not only for this world, but also, and more importantly, for the next, for eternal life. I also want to acknowledge that many of you, for many of you, St. Cecilia Academy is a family tradition. Over our 164 year history, generations of women continue in the footsteps of their sisters, mothers, and grandmothers by attending the oldest continually running school in Nashville. At this time, I would like to ask any mothers, sisters, grandmothers, and relatives of the graduates who also attended St. Cecilia Academy to please stand and be recognized. today and we hope that the St. Cecilia legacy will continue for generations to come. As we conclude this graduation ceremony, I invite you to stand and join the class of 2024 as they sing the St. Cecilia Academy alma mater. Thank you. 